And look at this video. Water from the Thornapple River bubbling like a fountain in Hastings because of a gas leak. 4,500 customers cannot heat their homes or use their gas stoves tonight. 13 on your side's Micah Cho joins us live from Hastings. And Micah, some businesses are closed because of the gas leak. Kirk and Juliet, when Consumers Energy turned off the gas. It closed three businesses just on this strip alone, even more further downtown. And while some businesses are closed, others are adapting. 4,500 Consumers Energy customers are without gas service after a line started to leak Wednesday under the Thornapple River. Consumers had to manually shut off gas to homes and businesses. Donna Kensington, the owner of Razor's Edge Hair Designs, is without heat in her building and without hot water. Okay. Well, for shampooing or for rinsing, so we've basically gotten in touch with our clients, let them know what, you know, where, what, what's happening here at the salon today, and no one wants to be rinsed with ice cold water. Those, like Randy Logry, couldn't use a stove to make lunch. I was thinking about Easter dinner, so how are we going to make that? But I have a grill, so tip for you guys. <laughs> well, he's got Easter figured out, Logry and others in town stopped by Kick and Curbs food truck, one of only a few places still open to eat. All right, we will see you later. Okay. Have a good one. Thank you. Lisa Upgraft owns the truck with her husband. They plan to stay open later for the rest of the week in Hastings to help give neighbors another food option. We have a lot of friends who are firemen and just first response and even that work for consumers. So if they can stop and grab a bite to eat or even just friends and family, there's not much to eat right now that's open. Um, and hopefully that works out better for them soon with the, the gas leak. Consumers Energy spokesperson Brian Wheeler says they hope to reconnect their customers as soon as they can. And once that new gas line is ready, we reconnect everybody. So we, we expect that today on Thursday, we're going to start the process of reconnecting people to our gas system. Um, that will take today and tomorrow for sure, and likely will continue into the weekend. Kick and Curbs will be open from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow and Saturday. Days that are not usually open here in downtown Hastings. For now in Hastings, Micah Cho, 13th on your side.